Welcome to Dr. Roulette. I have the prescription for your subscription. Okay, guys, it's been a while since I posted a video. Um, I was away. I'm going to be doing um, a high five strategy. Uh, so that is my classic $5 uh, bet, betting on uh, waiting for like uh, five reds or f five blacks or five odds and five evens, and then uh, betting $5. Uh, but right now I'm waiting for a pattern. Uh, so it is like sort of like snakes and ladders. So let me see here. I have red, black, red, black, red, black. Okay, let's see if I can get another. Okay, no, that ruins the pattern. Okay, so let's continue here. Let's see what else we can find. Okay, so let's go over here. So once again, I'm betting $5. And I'm waiting for five blacks or five reds or five evens and five odds. And then I'm going to bet against the trend. I'm still experimenting in this, like where I'm trying to do maybe a best out of three. So obviously if I win naturally the first time, uh, then I wait for another five reds or five blacks to emerge. Um, but if I lose, I think I would flat bet again $5. And then if I lose again, I think then I would increase it to $10. So I think that's what I would do. Sort of like the rubber match, you know? Okay, so 2017. Okay, nothing happening here. Okay, so let's go. Okay, let's go to Immersive Roulette. I see five blacks in a row here. One, two, three, four, five. Do I have time to place a bet? Uh, okay, good. It remained black. Okay. All right. So, what well, it's cool about Immersive Roulette is that you get this, like, a really amazing uh, instant replay. It's uh, quite spectacular. Okay, so now we have our uh, uh, six blacks. So, let's go red. We're going to do five. Five dollars on red. So I think I'm going to do best out of three. So I'm going to give myself three chances to win. And if I don't win in three chances, then I'm going to wait for another pattern to emerge. But I'm not going to be moderate m martingaling. I think I'm going to go 5-5. Five, five, and then on my third attempt, I, I will go uh, maybe $15. So I'd go up by two units. So in, in my case, that would be 15. So let's see. let's see how this goes here. Okay, got that win there. Okay, lucky number seven. Nice way to start off. Okay, I'm up five dollars. Okay, my balance was five hundred dollars and now I'm at five oh five. So let's go ahead and bounce. Let's see if we can find anything here. Okay, nine. 924, okay, so no, there's nothing good here. Uh, anything else? Let's see. Okay, let's go with this one. I like this one because it's it's speed roulette, so it goes a bit faster. Okay, so we have three odds in a row. Let's try to make it four. Okay, four, okay, good. So one more, and I will uh, go against the trend. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so once again, this is the high five roulette strategy that has snakes and ladders elements to it. And so it's very similar to snakes and ladders. Uh, I'm just waiting for, um, uh, I'm waiting for another odd and then I'll go even. I'm still like debating on how to, uh, how to perfect this, you know. I have an, a rough example, a rough idea of what I plan to do with the high five. I've done it before in my previous videos. Um, okay, no, that's, uh, the trend is broken over there. And okay, so, okay, let's go here, 15, 7, 29. Okay, so that's three odds in a row. And, okay, four odds in a row. 
Okay, so one more odd, and I will go even. So, been a long time since I've done a, a video. I think it's been about two months or so. So sorry if I'm not talking too much. I just uh, haven't done a video in a long time. I've been enjoying the summer. It's been a very good summer. Okay, so that's eight. One, two. Okay, so the trend is broken here. And you see, like, it. you need to have patience for this. And you see that... Um, it doesn't happen often when you get more than five blacks or five reds in a row. So uh, that just shows you. Okay, so we have four low numbers. So one more low number, and then we'll go high. We're trying to make it like a, a best out of three, like, um, like you know, like a basketball game, uh, best out of three in baseball, you know. We're trying to, like a rubber match. We're, we're trying to win... Uh, two out of the three, or if we went on the first ch chance and we wait for another pattern to emerge. If not, we have a thriller in Manila to deal with. All right, let's go see what this is. Okay, 11. Okay, so that's uh, five low numbers in a row. All right, so let's go uh, $5.00. Uh, 19 to 36. And I always put uh, place a little bit on zero. Uh, but this is immersive roulette, so you can't go more than you can't go lower than a dollar. Uh, but I would probably put some insurance on zero on my on the rubber match uh, to give myself an optimal chance of winning. And what I mean by rubber match is that if I win, if I flat bet once and I lose and then I flat bet again and I and I win, so then it's two wins, uh, one win and one loss. So then the rubber match, I would put uh, uh, insurance on zero. Okay, so what is that? Okay, I believe that's another win. That was 35. Is it uh, always a, was that 35 or what was that? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, that's a win. Okay, good. All right, so I'm up $10. Off to a good start. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now let's go red. Five dollars on red. Okay. So never play more than three spin sequences at a time. So give yourself three chances to win. Uh, but I don't think Martin Gill is the way to go with this. Um, I, I think I have a much more uh, uh, easier, um, less risky, r less risky system, I should say than martingaling. I, I still need to experiment with this high five roulette snakes and ladders strategy here. Okay, so what is this? Okay, red, that's another win. So, so far I'm three for three in the conversions. But uh, I still don't know if this is a good, if this is a good system or not because I haven't been tested yet because I haven't, I haven't lost so far in this session, uh, but uh, patterns emerged here. So let's continue and see what else we can find. Um, speed auto roulette. Okay, let's go here to speed roulette here. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five high numbers in a row. So of course, the more the more that you wait the better, you know, like, let's say if you get eight or seven high numbers in a row, even better. Uh, but, you know, since I'm doing a, a video here, I will uh, wait for at least five, but no more than that. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, six high numbers in a row. Okay, so this is the first step. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to, I think what I'll do is I'll do $5 if I lose, then I'll do 6 and if I lose, then I think on the third chance I'll martingale and go to $12, plus 50 cents on zero. I think that's what I'll do. All right, another win. So just like that, I'm up $20. Awesome. 
this is going better than expected. <laughs> but of course, I, 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 uh, I don't want to lose, but I sort of want to test this system out, you know, uh, to perfect it and uh, to see what I'll do, because I'll eventually lose, you know, obviously, I mean, but, um, yeah, so far, so, so far, so good here. Okay, so where else can I go? Okay. Eight. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's do, uh, uh, let's do, no, not that one. The pattern uh, stopped over there. Um, let's do... Okay, let's see what else we can do. All right, let's go back to this one with all the pretty ladies. Okay, so what is this? One, two, three, four. So we have four uh, even in a row. So let's try to get one more even and then we'll go odd. Okay, no, that didn't work out. But we have four high numbers in a row. What, oh, am I tempted to do some twin towers right here because I got one, two, three, I got four high numbers. So I'm tempted to go first and second, but I won't do that because right now I'm just concentrating on snakes and ladders, high five roulette strategy. And the reason why it's called high five, uh, because I'm betting $5. And every time I win, I give myself a high five. To my other hand, so. Okay, so let's go see here. Okay, so that's five. Okay, so the pattern is not good anymore here. So let's bounce. I know that this system, like, works... Uh, but I just don't know what's the best way to money management. If you guys have any ideas of of how to do it, like, I think I should give myself three chances uh, to, to try to win that, but not with martingaling. Because martingaling is just, uh, it's too high risk, and um, I don't like to martingale. It's, it's, just, um, it's just a really easy way to lose your money when you martingale. I find that there, 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 there's a much more conservative, more intelligent approaches to approach. You know, obviously you have to, uh, you know, you have to find a way to uh, up your bet. Uh, but I don't think Martin Wales, Martin, Martin Gale is the way to go uh, for the most part, you know. Especially if you like to play long term, like I do. Okay, nothing good here. So, oh, let's go to speed roulette here. This is the automated one. So I, I, I don't trust this as much as the uh, dealers, but uh, let's go. Let's do it. Okay, so we're going to do 1 to 18 because we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have five high numbers. Okay, so I think if I lose this one, then I think I'll just go up one unit, which would, in my case would be $6. And then on the third try, I'll, I will, uh, I'll see what I do. Okay, finally I lose. Okay, so what I was going to do is I was going to go like this, and then, oops, oh, well, I was trying to put six, but I forgot I'm fading speed roulette, so it goes by very fast. Okay, so let's go see here. So right now, just flat betting on the second try. Okay, so that's a loss. Okay, so then uh, I'll put uh, double that up, and then I'm going to put some insurance on zero. Oh, I wanted to put... At least 50 cents on zero. I ended up just putting $10, so that's not good. Uh, so right now, this is my third attempt and my final attempt. Now, of course, I get the zero, but that doesn't help me that much at all because I only put 10 freaking cents. So that was kind of annoying. So now I'm only up $3, so that's too bad. 
$3.50 to be exact, so took a bit of a hit there. Okay, so let's see here. What is this, 23? Okay, nothing here. Uh, I usually have a rule that I cash out $5 at a time, um, but I wanted to see how much of a streak I can go on. Anyways, uh, let's hope we can get two more low numbers so then I can go high. But I think at this time I'll start my progression at $10. I think maybe going up five units at a time, like five dollars at a time instead of martingaling. I think maybe that's the way to go. We'll see. Okay, so one, two, three, four. So one more. One more low number, and then I'll go high. I'll get my five dollars prepped. Just try to win a little bit at a time, you know? Okay, so that ruined my um, my sequence. Okay, so where else could we go here? Uh, I don't I don't like playing auto roulette when when I can play with the real dealers. You know, I don't know if I believe those uh, automated ones. Okay, nothing good here. Okay, let's go back here. We might do some red, black. I see red, black, red, black, red. So let's see. Uh, God for a second, zero. Okay, so when it, the zero comes, everything resets to, ze uh, to back to scratch. So let's go see here. Started off with a nice $20 lead, and then I played the auto roulette, and then I lost it. And now I'm only up three dollars and fifty cents. Is there anywhere else we can go? Okay, well, I guess we'll just say it's speed roulette for now. Okay, nothing good here. Okay, so now we just clicked it to only roulette, so that's good. Uh, let's go see here, nine. Oh, nothing good here. All these uh, tables, and none of them have five in a row. You see, it's... It's not that, I mean, it does happen a lot, but it doesn't happen as often as people think, you see? So that's why I try to capitalize by having at least five reds in a row and then, and then, and then going against the trend. See, five blacks, five reds, five odds, five evens. So far, I don't see anything here, you see? No. One, two, three. Okay, one, two, three, three red. So let's play some Arabic roulette. I've never played this one before. I guess they're coming up with more uh, games that you can play, which is good because it, you know, gives me less chances to wait, which is good. 
so I can make these uh, videos more entertaining for you. When was the zero? When was the zero the last time that it hit? Okay, zero's pretty healthy. It didn't hit that long ago. Okay. I like that roulette wheel. It's beautiful. Reminds me of the old uh, wooden roulettes uh, from the 1950s. It's a nice, a nice roulette wheel. Okay, that was 26 black. Okay, no, nothing good here. <sighs> okay, so. Let's see. Okay, so I have three high numbers here at Immersive Roulette. Okay, I'm just not getting very lucky over here by getting five in a row. Which is really strange because I started this video and I had so many. If that's the case, I might just do some twin towers here. Uh, 23, 14, 24. If another one hits in the uh, second row, I'm, I'm going to get it and go and play the first and third. I'm pretty convinced that the zero won't show up again for a while anyways. Okay, so that's four in a row. Okay, so let's do, uh, let's just do a little bit here. Let's do three and three. And let's do some, uh, let's do 17. In case of 17 comes up. I like to put at least one whole number uh, since, you know, it does pay 35 to one. Uh, it's nice to uh, to put in case. Okay, so that's a two dollar and fifty cent profit. Okay, so that's good. Now I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cash out here. I'm still gonna play, uh, but I still wanna like uh, make sure that, you know, the profits that I do get, go into my bank account, and not into the casino's bank account because. What's the, uh, the the most important rule is that you can't win until you cash out. Even if you're winning, you can never win unless you cash out. And that's what I plan to do is uh, cash out a little bit at a time, you know. Build up my, build up my bankroll not only for, for when I'm playing roulette, but also build up my bankroll for my bank account because the whole purpose of playing roulette should be to win money. Okay. So I'm at four ninety six. I cashed out ten dollars. So let's continue here, and let's see if we can make another five dollars. Let me know what your guys' thoughts on blackjack is. Um, personally, I find it uh, overrated. Uh, I find that there's just so many more options with roulette. You can play inside numbers. You can play outside numbers. You can play two to three uh, rows or two to three dozens. You know, one thing about I love about roulette is that you can be down to the last $20 and then you can put it all on one number and then you can walk out a winner. Meaning, you know, uh, you can't do that with blackjack. You know, the most you can win in blackjack is uh, is getting a blackjack, you know, so you can't get a 35 to 1 payout unless you do some crazy side bets. But I don't know about that. Uh but it's definitely not a game that I, and it's also the flow, the flow of the the flow of the game of blackjack I find is very slow, uh, so that's another thing that I find irritating about blackjack. Is that it takes a long time for them to shuffle the cards, and then once they finish a the deck, then they 
a dealer changes and it takes forever. I, I just don't have the patience to play blackjack. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's go back and do $5 on red here. Finally, I can get five blacks in a row. So let's see if I can keep this momentum here. Though I did lose it when I went to, when I played auto roulette, uh, the speed auto roulette. I was trying to put more money on zero. I ended up only putting ten or ten or twenty cents on zero, which only paid three dollars and fifty cents. Big whoop. Okay, so that's a loss. So, okay, so now I'm gonna go five again. Uh, this time I'm gonna give it a bit of muster. I'm gonna go six fifty. And I'm also going to put 6 and 9. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it like that. So this is the second one. Ah, uh, there's a dealer change. That resets everything, by the way. Because uh, now there's a new dealer, so she can end up spinning another 5 black in a row. So I'll have to change tables if I lose this one. But let, hopefully I win this one. So let's go see. And I lose. Okay, so that's two in a row. Uh, but since I don't have much patience right now and I really want to get that win, I'm going to go ahead and double up. So I'm going to go $14. And I'm going to put some insurance. Uh oh, it's going to put some more insurance on other numbers, but I didn't have the chance. So I should have basically went to another table, uh, but I didn't have patience. So. I should have done that. I should have just waited for another table because now she can spin five blacks in a row, but whatever. All right, good. I got it. Nice. So I took a little chance there. Ooh, doctor. Okay. So we'll go ahead and cash out once we reach $500. Okay, so let's go ahead here. And see what else we can do. One, two, three, four. That guy looks like he's half falling asleep there. Um, okay, so. Four, four blacks in a row. Once again, this is the automated version, not my favorite one. Uh, but like I said, I'm doing a video here, so I want to hurry this up. Okay. Okay, so that's five. Okay, so now let's do five on red. Okay, that's a loss. Okay, so the rubber match will do another five. Well, oops. Okay, we'll do five. So the rubber match, I think uh, when it's a rubber, uh, when it's, sorry, a rubber match would be the third one. So this is, uh, see if I can break even on this one and then I'll give it some mustard on the third attempt. Okay, so I break even. So back to 498, okay. The rubber match would be if I had one win, one loss, uh, which actually would be now, but I have to wait for another, I have to wait for another pattern to emerge. So I still have to come up with a, with a perfect system for this because I really do like this system. I really, really like this system a lot. I just have to find a good money management strategy. And if, if you guys can think of a good money management strategy, of uh, what I can do, I'm open to uh, to ideas for sure. One, two, three, four, uh, four even in a row. So I like the idea of flat betting for the first two chances, you know, and then uh, 
and then maybe martingaling for the third one or going up by five units. I don't know. I still don't know how to what I'm how, what I'm approaching on that. Okay, let's see if there's anything else. Okay, this is auto roulette. Oh, four numbers that hit in the second. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a chance here and do it. one, two, one, two. Because uh, one, two, three. There's four numbers that hit in the uh, second, in the second column, in the second dozen. In the second dozen, I should say. Yeah, so let's go ahead and give ourselves uh, two, two chances to win this by going up two units. The Twin Tower strategy. Okay, good, I got that. All right, so let's go ahead and cash out a bit more. We'll cash out another $10. All Ching doesn't seem like a lot of money, uh, but a little bit goes a long way when you keep on doing it constantly, you know. Um, okay, so let's go back to uh, roulette. Okay, so a couple of evens in a row. Let's see if she can spin two more even. Okay, another even. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's wait for one more even. And I'll go ahead and prep the five dollars. Okay, so that was another even. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five even in a row. Okay, so let's go ahead and do odd, five dollars on odd. Okay. So I'm thinking about doing five, six, and then going up by five dollars after that. So the third spin would be 11 if I lose two in a row. But let's see if I can get it here. Okay, that's a loss. Okay, so that's a loss. So let's do another flat bet. Okay, uh, let's go up by a dollar and then let's go up seven dollars and then a dollar on zero. I think I know how I'm going to play this. I think I'm going to go up two units every time I lose and go down a unit every time I win. I think I'm going to, I'm going to do it like that. It'll be nice and simple and uh, it'll be easy to understand. Okay, good. I got that. Okay, so how much was that now? Seven. So since I went up two units, so now I'll go six dollars. I think this is how I'm going to play this system. Okay, so... Yeah, I think exactly how I'm going to play this system is I'm going to go up two units every time I lose and go down a unit every time I win and never play more than three times in a row. So I'm going to treat it like I do my Twin Tower strategy, going up by two units every time I lose and then a unit every time I win, going down a unit every time I win. Uh, yeah, so I think I'm going to do that. So no need to martingale for this system because at the end of the day, if you wait for at least five blacks or five reds, you should be up. You, you should be up because of the, uh, you know, the, the, the laws of average, you know. And uh, I think giving myself three opportunities 
is good. So I'm, I really, I'm, I, I finally figured out how I'm going to play high five strategy. It's going to be very similar to my uh, twin tower strategy. It's the exact same thing, except what I like about this strategy better than uh, twin towers is that you're only risking one unit. Uh, you know, you're risking one unit to make a unit, while twin towers, you're you're risking two units to make one unit. So it's like you're using double just for six more, uh, just for six more numbers. So. Okay, so uh, what is this now? Fifteen. Okay. No. Okay. Uh, two. Okay, lightning roulette has four. Now, lightning roulette is a. Uh, I like lightning roulette. I um, you know, when I have a few dollars extra, I like to play lightning roulette. I like to play the inside numbers. If I have like ten dollars, I'll. I'll have a little fun, and I do enjoy it. It's exciting, uh, but I definitely don't play it often. Okay, so this is five. I'm going to put five, but since this is lightning roulette, I want to have a little uh, insurance. I'm going to put uh, 40 cents on 36 uh, in case the lightning comes out. Every time there's li lightning, I'd like to at least play one number when I'm playing lightning roulette. But the way that the ball spins is different, you know? Uh, this is why I don't like playing uh, this type of strategy uh, with, uh, with Lightning Roulette because it's not, she's not really spinning the ball, it's an automatic, so I don't trust it as much, if that makes any sense. Okay, but I did get the win. Excellent. All right, so what do we do when we get a $5, uh, a $5 win? Ching, we cash it out. You know, because it's so easy to get greedy when you're playing roulette. It is so easy. I've been there. Trust me. You know how easy it is. Like when you're up and you're like, you feel, you almost feel invincible. Uh, you know, there's something with this game that makes you feel invincible because it is quite easy to win. But it's just as easy it is to win. It's it, it just is easy to lose if not easier to lose i should say okay so never get too comfortable so let's go ahead and put another ten dollars cha-ching all right okay so Yeah, so for, for Lightning Roulette, it's basically if I have a few dollars in change uh, at the end of my uh, session, I usually like to put like a, a couple of inside numbers uh, for fun, and I do like it, but I don't, I don't make a living out of it because it's, uh, you know, you don't get paid 35 to 1 with Lightning Roulette. Uh, the odds are 30 to 1 because, they're, because they do that because... Um, to compensate for the lightning because the lightning is pretty cool you can go up to anywhere between i think uh, 50 to uh, 200 times you know which is much better than 35 to 1 but the chances of, of it happening it's not like uh, it's like being struck by lightning uh, okay so no all right so let's see here It is my birthday weekend. I turned 41 in uh, July 14. So I want to make sure that I that I have a winning week this week, you know. I want to make sure that it's a nice win. Uh, you know, I want to make sure for my birthday that I that I win. Okay, so 1 2 3 4 Five thirty-two nine. Okay, nothing here. Oh, there must be somewhere that has five reds, five blacks, five odds, or five evens, or black red, black red, black red. Of course, auto roulette is tempting me, but once again, this is uh, automated, so not my favorite. Okay, that break the pattern, anyways. 
So that's no good. Immersive. Okay, three low numbers in a row. Let's see if she can spin two more lows. Okay, four. So one more and I will go for it. I'll get my $5 prepped. So once again, I let's say if I lose, so if the first bet is one $5 on the first bet. If I lose, then I uh, put $7. If I lose again, then I put $9. And if I win, I go down a unit. So then I would go $8, but I wait for another five reds or five blacks. And then, and then I keep going down until I'm back in profit again. So that's exactly how I'm going to play this system. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's go 19 to 36, okay? So let's get this party started here. So the first three chances will be five, seven, and nine. Of course, you know, uh, if, I, if, I, if, I, if I win on the second or third one, I'll still be down, but it will be manageable. I'll be able to manage my money much easier, if, uh, much better than martingaling, you know? Because once you martingale and you lose, it's game over. All right, so that's a win. Cha-ching. So another $5 win. So let's go ahead and cash out. So, you know, you can literally make roulette your own personal uh, vending machine, you know. Uh, but you have to play responsible and you have to play smart. And you have to know when to hold them and know when to fold them as uh, the late, great Kenny Rogers would say. Okay, so let's go ahead there. And, um, all right. Oh, look at that. I was born in 1981, and my balance is $481. So I think I'm going to stop this video over here. And, um, you know, so I had, a, I had a good run. I made some money. And I thank you guys so much for watching. I think I, I made about... Uh, well, I think I made about uh, fifteen to or twenty or twenty five dollars in profit, uh, which is pretty good for uh, you know thirty forty minutes of play. Uh, I'm happy about that, and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Have a wonderful weekend.